Faysmith Carax. I have been looking for you. Artanis, what a price Your the nerve cords, they must be removed. It was done by the Dark Templar. I am free of the Kala's corruption. Are there others? I have saved all that I could. Come, we must escape this world before time runs out. Escape? How? The Spear of Adun still rests beneath the ruins of Kor Shakal. Its generators are ancient, but a phase smith of your ability will know how to bring them online. The Spear of Adun? I... I am honored to have the opportunity. This is fortune we cannot ignore. Indeed. Come, we must go at once. Marvel of Kalai Engineering, and last of the three great Ark ships. Each created to ensure the continuation of our culture in a dark time. Within its chambers rest contingents of zealots, Templar who bravely sacrificed, entering suspension so that they may serve as this vessel's army. Though it pains me greatly, I have begun severing their nerve cords. The ship's lower decks contain a star forge capable of constructing weapons of war. There is much to learn about this vessel. Its technology is ancient, yet highly advanced. We are aboard a relic from a glorious time, when our culture shined as a constellation. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. From here, you may select our next point of travel. With this vessel, we will avenge what has transpired, Carax, And we will free the Templar. This is Commander James Raynor. Artanis? There. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Friend Raynor, you seem rather... occupied. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps. An elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked, reported hybrid leading them. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition to Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grand. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet, and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. Zeratul, Zeratul, old friend. I have the keystone you believed would lead to our salvation. And yet, faith alone will not defeat Amon. The Nerezim of Shakuras ritually sever their connection to the Kala. Because of this, they are now the last free Protoss. I must reach them before Amon's armies. Loss of life is extensive. Hold! 
We are receiving a transmission. Praise the gods. Artemis, you live. Matriarch Vorazun, what has happened here? Shakuras has fallen. The warp gate linking this world to Ire has been reopened. Countless hybrid and Zerg pour from the other side. They've obliterated our cities, decimated our Shadow Guard. We are trying to evacuate the remaining population, but I am uncertain whether we can hold long enough to get them safely away. We will give you the time you need, Matriarch. My Templar are inbound. Shakuras has fallen, and Amon's grip tightens. If we are to stand against him, we will need more than warriors. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the Purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? The forbidden weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. Attacking the facility. Amon has unleashed his servants. Ready our warriors. You wish to see me, Faye Smith. Artanis, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix. How. How can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the Purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the Source personality, I thought... Well, he believes he was brought from Stasis and made a Dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of Adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a Trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Carax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. Hierarch, I see the master construction of the Zalnaga now. Their understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. 
I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar? It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The homeworld of the Selnaga. I believe the Keystone can project its location. Show me, Karax. Must be in error. The Alterian Rift? That is impossible. Nothing can survive within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Karax. It is said that the Zelnaga came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. shredded into our base particles. Yet, here we stand, between universes. Zeratul was right. It is Ulnar. Think of it, Matriarch. The cradle of all life, hidden all these years. Yes, but why? Matriarch. There is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter. Think us fools? Yes, but that is irrelevant. What is relevant is that Amon has opened a gateway to the void. Dark energies pour from within, and they will burn through your precious leader and any who oppose Amon. I can guide you to Artanas before this fate befalls him. If we are bold, we can stop the Dark God's assault. Am I to believe that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back? You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. You will take us to Artanis. Most wise. I... Uh, Artanis. Hierarch of the Twilight Council. Warlord of the Templar. I had expected so much more. Arrogance! Watch your words, or my bleed will watch them for you. Oh, that's hardly a way to speak of one who saved your master's life. You care little for my survival, Alarak. What is the true reason you've come to me? 
Our God broke his ancient covenant and cast us low. These are lies, Artavis. I am the liar? Are you not but a lie incarnate machine? Prototh. Speak your peace, Alarak. The Talgarim's death fleet amasses its slain, awaiting the start of a full-scale invasion. I come with an offer. You will aid me in invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, I will grant you a cessation of hostilities between our people. Phoenix, rally my advisors. It appears we have much to discuss. The Void Portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Kapulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately, eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergroods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Moby's core. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. The Selnagar are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will not fail us. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artemis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against this slave master? I have heard your counsel. I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! The Purifier Stasis Grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. 
They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Phoenix, contact the purifiers. I would speak to them. Executor Clolarian, you have awoken during the Firstborn's darkest hour. You have shown us that the Purifiers are a mighty force that could turn the tide of this war. I ask you now to honor your sacred charge as Templar and fight beside your brethren as you did before. You are no different than the Conclave. Once again, you try to control us. No. I wish to make amends for our past failures. I have fought battles alongside one of you. Phoenix, the one you are linked with. The Conclave feared your kind, but they are no more. I know you are true Templar. I have seen it. I ask that we stand as one, or none of us shall stand at all. I will counsel with the others. They are deliberating. If we are to follow, we would ask the Entity Phoenix to speak for us. There is much about this time we do not yet understand. But as long as you hold to your word, Hierarch, the Purifiers shall join the Firstborn. It brings me great joy that the Purifiers have chosen to join the Dalom. But there is still the matter of the Tal'Darim. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. An armada. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Tal'Darim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh, yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Tal'Darim have no color for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. 
Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. Alarak, the Taldarim have yielded to my authority and the Death Fleet is now under my command. I will use them both to avenge Amon's betrayal. Do your people believe in this cause, as you do? What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. Hierarch. The Taldari... The Taldarim and Alarak have joined our fight, but we cannot strike against Ayr until Amon's armies have been brought low. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Hierarch, as ordered. My Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Corps to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. Kerax, what do you know of their defenses? The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. Ready our ships for assault. Hierarch, Mobius Corps' vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. Templar, to me! A doom fall! Let the Spear of a doom fall! Kerax. We cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Faye Smith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hierarch. Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies, shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. 
Karax of the Kalai. You were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the Age of Casts has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. destroyed your Terran army, eradicated your hybrid facility, and turned your servants to my side. All that is left is your destruction. Impudence, Vak. You are insignificant in the face of the salvation I bring. You will come to Ire and die. He is gone. He is so arrogant. Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the Great Fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred Psi Matrix that powers Ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day long. No! time for retribution. We will set a course for ire. So many lost. So much destruction. But there is a glimmer of hope. We will destroy Amon's host body and cast him from the Kala. The Templar shall make our final stand. Brothers, sisters, the time has come for our attack. Oh well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell, and exists within it and the Kala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Ire, by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the void. This optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit, and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. Ready yourselves. Confrontation. 
The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on.